So what exactly is point slope form? It's when you have an equation of a line that's written in this form, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Now remember, m represents the slope, now that's the, the angle of the line, and when it goes through a given point, x1 comma y1. So that's our point, that's our slope. If you want to understand where the equation comes from, you can look at the slope formula, which is y minus y1 over x minus x1, the difference in the y's over the difference in the x's, and if you cross multiply, think of m as m over one, you're gonna get the point slope form of the equation of a line. So let's go through three examples. See if you can do these on your own. The first one, you can see we have y minus two equals three times x plus one. So the one thing I wanna kinda of point out to you is, is that, see how this is y minus two equals three times x minus a negative one? Because subtraction is really like adding the opposite. So when you look at these values here, you have to realize that they have the opposite sign. So that means that this is actually going through the point negative one, positive two, it's the opposite. So negative one comma two, that's our point, and our slope is three, which is like three over one. So let's locate our point, negative one, and the y coordinate is positive two, so up two. And then from this point now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go rise three and run one. So the numerator is the rise, the vertical direction. We're gonna go up one, two, three. The run is the horizontal direction, it's positive one, so I'm going right one, and we've got another point on our line. We can also reverse that. We can think of that as negative three over negative one, because the two negatives cancel, and from this point we could go down one, two, three, and then left one. You can see we're still getting the same line and you've got it. So let's do another example, see if you can follow me here. So number two, we've got y plus four equals negative times x minus one. So when you see this negative here, you can think of it as negative one, okay, because negative one times anything is gonna be just like multiplying by a negative. And you can write any number as a fraction by putting it over one. So when we do our slope, it's the rise over the run. The numerator is the rise, the vertical change, and the denominator is the run, that's the horizontal change. But you can see it's going through the point positive one, remember the x coordinate is grouped with the x, the y coordinate is grouped with the y, but it's the opposite sign, so it's positive one, negative four, so right one, down four, that's your point that the line goes through, and it has a slope of negative one, so we're gonna go down one, right one, and if you want, you can reverse that, you can go up one and left one, because positive one over negative one is the same as negative one over positive one, and so you can see there's gonna be your line right there. Okay, last example, see if you can do this one on your own. What point does this line go through? Negative two, negative three. Remember, it's the opposite. Left two, down three, right about there. It has a slope of one half, so we're gonna go rise one, run two. And you can repeat that, rise one, run two, et cetera, and that's your line. So, great job. If you wanna see how to graph lines when they're in slope intercept form, check out the video I did right there. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.